Mistakes have been made. All right, I screwed up and didn't record my audio, my microphone. So here I'm just talking about how awesome YouTube is and how my views are up like a ton over last month, how the watch time is like 10 times as much as last month, how I thought that things had peaked and they were dropping back down and they even went negative for a bit, but it looks like things are going well. Overall, YouTube is awesome. Everybody who's subscribed is awesome. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, my microphone is off for the first 15 minutes of this. So it's going to be a little bit painful. I'm just going to try and recall. We're trying to get this number to go up. That's it. That's all we got to do. Just get the 25 to go up. I'm sitting here deliberating. No, I guess I don't deliberate. Do I buy that badge? So we just immediately buy Berserker badge, then try and figure out what I'm going to do with it. My thought is go chain whip and then try and do the fatigue build with Mrs. Struggles. And there's also cheese, which cheese is always just good. But how well we'll actually be able to do that, who knows. Oh, I'm considering different armor types. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm looking for things that can remove buffs because the whole benefit to the chain whip if I can get it is that it can scale very quickly if we can remove lots of opponent buffs very quickly another thing I want to try is serpent staff but for that one I would like to get a ranger badge if possible it feels like crits would be good with that serpent staff Oh, and one of the comments I got was talking about Falcon Blade and how it attacks twice, which I don't ever really consider. I really should be trying to make that weapon. It feels like stamina could be tricky with it, but it speeds up other things around it. And the fact that it attacks twice is pretty crazy. So here I'm just trying to find things that would remove buffs. And kind of failing. So I'm searching for different terms. I'm seeing things that remove debuffs. I don't see anything that removes buffs. But there are things that remove buffs. Mainly Mrs. Struggles. Yeah. The bird removes luck, I think. Which I hover that in a second. And something else removes spikes. I think the stone armor maybe removes spikes. We can't get Amethyst Whelp. That's not an option. Draconic Orb would be good. I should just cut this part out of the video. I'm too lazy to edit. This is what we're doing. We are watching back and trying to figure out what I was doing. I think this is when I'm thinking through... I think this is when I'm thinking through what I want to do the most. And then after that, I should chill out with my planning. I'm just trying to get a real build going. Which is a terrible time to have my microphone muted. And I like shovel way too much. Shovel's decent. <laughs> Should have had the wolf badge hitting the broom and the pan. And the food. Do we? And we win. That was a pretty, like, similar matchup it looked like when I looked over at them. I don't know what I'm debating here. Probably if I should get that goobert. I think I'm talking about how there are no good gooberts. For Reaper. Steel Goobert is okay. Getting that wolf badge to actually touch the things that it needs to touch. Look, we bought a pig. Pig is an investment in the future. They have a lot of HP. That over doubles their HP. So that's rough. 
It's especially rough because I don't have any kind of healing or sustain or anything. Deck of cards on sale. Deck of cards can carry you through the early and mid game pretty easily. So I do like that one. Yeah, the lovers is good. Couldn't you make some item out of broom plus walrus tusk before? That was not what I was talking about when I was doing the run. I think I was talking about wolverine claws during the run. I feel like at some point you could combine broom plus walrus tusk. We just got destroyed. That's an early Charizard. Yeah. My memory is so bad that I forget what happened during the video. I recorded one more after this, the one that will come out later today. I should have just done the commentary for this right after the video ended. The other thing we could do, I could just not talk for like the next 10 minutes and I could just let the video play. I don't know which would be preferable. Second pig. I'm going economy. Two pigs plus a shovel. That is three gold per turn. At least. Sometimes the shovel digs up things worth more than one gold, I believe. Shovel's weird. I don't know what all things it can dig up. Maybe I should figure that out. Maybe. This pyro build doesn't look that scary to me right now. Cool. Goobert on sale. I know I don't take it, but right now it looks kind of good. I guess I don't have bag space for it. Yeah, I don't have bag space at all. Oh no, the next like 10 minutes are going to have a lot of me trying to figure out how to place the cards, I think. I might have paused for parts where I'm arranging the cards. When I finally realized that my microphone has been muted the whole time, that is because I pause to arrange the cards. So my problem with the microphone is that anytime I open up my editing software, so right now I'm in video editing software so that I can do this voiceover for this previous video. When I do that, the video editing takes the microphone and it doesn't give it back to OBS when I'm done. So I have to remember to restart OBS after closing out the video program and make sure that it gets the microphone back, which is kind of a pain. We're getting wins. Three wins, two losses. I wonder if I take that armor. That's a lot of defense potential. Cost 13 gold. The bigger thing is it takes up eight spaces to make that happen. Eight spaces is a lot of space. I feel like I would have had to have paused here. No, I guess not. I was gonna say to rearrange the cards. Why do I sell that over the poison food? I mean, I'm expecting that I'll have to sell the pigs eventually anyways, because I don't have bag space to fit them. And deck of cards takes up a lot of bag space. But still, I could have sold the food first. That poison food has almost no value in my mind, where unless you're doing the poison scythe, where the pig can have lots of value. 
With lots of pigs, it might be worth it to roll more and just look for bags so that you can keep the pigs. Knowing when to roll is probably like the most difficult thing in this game. If I was better at the game, right here I'm trying to figure out my stamina problems, I think. And how much of the damage was from fatigue. But yeah, if my decision making with what things I should purchase was better, then I think I would roll more often, skip more of the items that don't actually contribute to me winning. Like maybe I would skip some bags even. And try and buy more things on sale. Sale items in this game are so broken. So, so broken. Maybe I should try and like roll three times every round if I don't have good things to buy. Like those things, why am I buying those? Was that bag of stones? It must have been on sale. So like that shield's pretty good, but 12 gold is a lot of gold. I think I'm gonna be trying to figure out. So bag of stones sells for two, pig sells for two. The fly agaric sells for two, so that's six gold. That gets me up to ten. And then I have to find two more gold if I want to buy that shield, which I do. To get the two more gold, do I just sell a sand and a gem? Looking at it now, I think that's what I would do. I think I'm planning on going fatigue, so that dark crystal inside the shovel is pretty important. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to buy that. Adding up the gold costs that I just did in my head now, well, out loud. We have like three more minutes, two and a half minutes, and then the regular audio will come back in and you will be saved from me trying to remember what the hell I was doing and doing a terrible job at remembering. So the cards fit. Why do I still have that food? Do I not buy that shield? Oh, I might not be buying it because I don't have the bag space for it even if I did get it. That shield seems so good. Huh. I guess I don't buy it. Next round. I'm... I really want to buy that shield. I guess the pig gets me money. It gets me max HP. It's good. I'm getting enough benefit from using those five spaces. Scary enemy build. Yeah. Seven weapons and the super sword. How do I still not notice the mic is muted for another minute? Because I'm sitting here debating what to do. I have 16 gold. It costs 18 gold to buy that bag and the shield, which I'm guessing is what I did. Looking at it now, that's what I would do. Bag of stones doesn't really do much. Oh, I was debating getting rid of the shovel in place of two stones in the bag. But it doesn't make any kind of sense. Really, I could just ditch the shovel almost. The main benefit of the shovel is that it makes use of the stamina and that it can blind. Somewhere around here, I pause the video to rearrange, and that's when I notice it is muted. And then we will resume normal commentary any minute now, I swear. Okay, so I'm going to leave, and...
and enjoy the rest of the video. Oh no, my microphone has been dead this whole time because I was editing video in DaVinci Resolve, which steals my microphone. So game plan is we're looking for the thorn whip with this so that I can turn it into, I would also need the anvil thing, the one that removes buffs. And then we can get fatigue with Mrs. Struggles to also remove buffs. And we're trying to do defense because that works well with fatigue that's the game plan i'm undecided on this potion yeah i'm gonna figure out how to organize things in the bag i don't know what i'm doing with the first 15 minutes of this video that had no audio i guess that's what people get ah uh, no it's painful maybe i'll commentate over it i don't know back in a sec all right I think this is my setup. I could buy this mana orb. To buy that, I would have to sell this, this, this. That gets me up to five gold. And a sand, or, and a gem. I think I'm gonna sell the gem. Even though I can fit the gem and I can't fit the sand. I have three sand. Three sand is almost viable. Moon shield is good. Start the battle. Three sand can do something. Plus, I'm still stuck with shovel. They've got two weapons, very low stamina, no banana, same as me, no banana. I need more defense. I need something that actually generates defense. Oh. That's pretty scary. This one generates a little bit of defense. This one speeds up the Broom, the shovel. Egg on sale that I don't want. Was I struggling for stamina? I might be at this point. Was I? It's hard to fit a stupid banana. Which buff do I get the most of? Something stupid like mana. Yeah. It's definitely mana. This one's good. This helmet's good. I think it's just this one. Oh, the whip! The whip is what I wanted! The whip is what I wanted. Okay. I also want the thing, the hammer, to be able to smith the whip. But you know what? Whip is better than shovel. Shovel's better for economy, but beyond that... I have to rearrange again. I hate rearranging. We have to do it. Have to do it. All right, back in a sec. All right, so the problem with the thorn whip is now I really need a banana. I have no money. I have something reserved. Lovers. trying to think if I would still get thorn bloom even though I'm not really building for that I mean thorn bloom is better than thorn whip but I'm hoping to get the remove buffs whip um 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 kind of a tough call right now you sell for one you sell for two you sell for two that only gets me five gold this helmet would be good I have so much defense <laughs> Okay, it's a non-crit, non-stun build, so the helmet wouldn't have helped that much. A little bit, but... We win. Charizard on sale. I think you gotta take it. Mana Orb is kind of tempting. Full price. I don't have enough money to keep doing this. I need this bag. Need the bag. Don't need the blueberry. Do need stamina. Don't have stamina. Okay. 
So things that I would like. This fatigue one. Pretty good to get into the world. Beyond that, I would like the cards to make more sense. Get the cards to make more sense is tricky. Could I put this here? Does that help? Maybe. Seems like it helps. And we get a sand. So the only thing is, this one would like to be up here. How important is that? Pretty important. That could be the difference between winning and losing. But it's difficult to get that to fit. I'm looking and not seeing it. This bag could move. I think I have to try to figure it out. So I'm going to put that up there. Stamina bag could move, but there aren't many good spots for it. If I put it there, what have I just done? Put the lovers here. Ah, this isn't the best. Nothing is the best. close. I think I'm going to have to pause and come back yet again. All right, back in a sec. My, my pause is going so slow lately. I don't know what's up with my computer. All right, so we don't have the second the lovers in, but otherwise this setup's not bad. I think I'm happy with that. Start the battle. It would be good to get this card in. <laughs> scary magic torch oh and they've got this and they've got this weapon and they've got double gooberts that's a weird build they don't have many crafted items it's one of the main benefits two crafted items kind of lucky that i caught them early brown on sale do i have mana yeah i've got mana do I need it right at the start? It's questionable. This gives mana. I don't need mana. This removes buffs. I am trying to make the super whip, but we still need to find the stupid hammer. Find the stupid hammer. I think I'm getting rid of the lovers. Dark saber? Or Bloodthorn. Darksaber. Do I debuff them? I don't know. I try to debuff them. No, I don't debuff them. Could I start to debuff them? Yeah, that's what Darksaber does. Does it work with Moonshit? Yeah, it does. Except that Crown is anti-synergistic with it. I sold my earlier Blueberry. It cost 19 gold a lot of stuff to consider. Hmm. Could sell the crown back. Selling the crown back is what I'm going to do. No, now I want to figure out this card so that I can put this right here. And it's only here for like a turn. I hate figuring out cards. I hate figuring out cards. This armor bag helps. Does it? Hopefully this armor bag will help. All right, back again in a sec. If it pauses. All right, I think I'm leaving Darkest Lotus out for now. I think. Is that true? I think that's true. All right, one more pause. Just because now I'm super paranoid that my recording settings are screwed up because the first 15 minutes of this video, they were. I'm leaving Darkest Lotus out. 
Okay, they have rebirth, but only one of them. Four flames. We need to get that rebirth triggered. Okay, I'm... They got crown off. Crap, I think they win. Fatigue damage is really good for me, though. Wait, we might win with fatigue? We do win with fatigue. Okay. Win with fatigue. I think mana is my highest stat. And I don't have anything to use mana for. Okay, so I tried to make this berserker thing work. Oh crap, now the berserker's not gonna touch my weapon. And I have to rearrange again. That said, Darksaber's pretty good. Darksaber is a weapon that scales like crazy. I didn't realize there's still a whole nother row over to the right. Interesting. Okay. That was surprisingly easy to set up. Okay, we need to speed this up. Give it debuffs. I need to touch it to one of these crystals. Oh, wait, you got shifted. Crap. Okay, one of these crystals has to go here. Ideally, you would go here. I can do that. This goes here. This can go inside of the dark saber for now. And then I'll switch it back later. I could get this in now. Blueberry. Blueberry is better if I need mana, and I might. I do have two sources of mana, but they're one-time mana gainers. This feels good. Does it? It does. And I have sands which, which work with dark saber and they work with lightsaber. Wait, they work with lightsaber. They work with lightsaber. Oh, there's a spot right there. Okay. We're good. We are good. Three blind right at the start. This could win. Charizard. What about that heart container? No, it's full price. It's too expensive. Third Charizard. Start the battle. Wait, what about banana? No, it's too hard to fit. It would be good. It really would. It's too hard to fit. I might miss some attacks, but banana takes up so much space. Everything I have right now is decent. They cleanse their debuffs, which hurts. How were they cleansing their debuff? I don't know. They just were. Second one of these. No deal. Okay. We didn't have Darksaber before. Now we do. Darksaber. I need you to save me. No pressure. No pressure at all. Charizard. Charizard seems good. That goes there, that goes there, this comes here. We can get this, set it next to a Charizard. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. Buy this. What about this? What about this? Negative, negative. What about this? This one seems good. Next hit is a crit. That could actually be a big crit, especially if I put this near the end, which is kind of weird. That could be like a finishing crit. And wait, forget putting it near the end. Just the fact that all these cards gain a lot. I might need to put this one sooner. I might need that mana. I'm gonna put this one right here. I am going to reserve that card. Am I? Yeah. 
I don't know, I think it's like just good enough. Because it enhances one, two, three, four, five other cards. And it gets me a crit. Mainly because it enhances five other cards. And I have space. Ah, but I can find better cards. Start the battle. Find better cards. <laughs> They're also going cards. They're going chonk. They only have three cards. Hammer, three daggers. That's not much. Couple potions. Kind of sad how close that is. That one HP was super close. How were they putting blind on me? Just with Cursed Dagger? There's no way that that Cursed Dagger gave me 10 blind. Oh, they're reflecting debuffs? Reflect two debuffs. That doesn't feel like enough. Huh. I think they're just hitting me with that dagger a bunch. Hammer does trigger the dagger. Hammer's going off pretty quick. They had stamina. They actually got to use their stamina potion. One of the biggest complaints I have with the hammer build is a lot of people seem to build it where they don't actually use their stamina potions. And that's just such a big investment if you're not using them. I get that they're like a backup or like if you do run into a tough build, but I really want to use if I'm going to invest. Like I want to be using my stuff in every battle. Sand is used. Bird could have been good, but it's really expensive. This potion could be good. Potion in two potion belts, but that's a little bit tricky to do. It would be good. Hard to get into two potion belts. I could just say forget the two potion bar belts part and still get this potion. How much block does it give? Oh no, this one. 30 plus 30%, 30 it's not that much. The main thing is it could combo with other things, but it can't really. I mean, this isn't like a potion build. Big sword. I think this is it. I need stamina. Pretty sure I need stamina. Does that mean that I should take this gem out? I should have paid attention last round to if I actually need stamina. So the thing I'm tempted to do is get more heat sooner. Is that good enough? Kind of want to scoot the cards up, but that's a pain to do. If I could scoot them up so that, no, because this only goes off at the end of the battle anyways. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Roll. Another Charizard? Could get the dragon egg. Could get this armor. This armor. Armor's kind of good. It would fit right now. A seven gold. Start the battle. Get the Charizard. Hopefully I don't lose this round. Crap. Two rebirths and a pan. Poison pan. Pretty scary. Just because poison's gonna start doing a lot of damage really quick. Also, I don't counteract the blind enough with my dark saber. Accuracy 15%. We win! I think we just won because of fatigue. This armor. This armor. So this one. Godly, holy, magic shield. Godly, holy, magic shield. Um, holy items are also dark. 
70 armor. Lens debuffs. Inflict them on your opponent. That's pretty good. That alone is pretty good. It's so expensive. It's so worth it. What would I sell to get it? Am I selling a stupid blueberry? Selling a stupid blueberry. I still have to think about how to fit this. All I know is that I'm going to figure it out. Okay. I will be back in a sec. If it pot. That actually wasn't that bad. Okay, so the only thing is, we are ditching the lovers for now. This feels good though. Start the battle. Next, I'm gonna have to get this positioned next to other things. I don't even know how much of a priority that is. It probably is a priority. They've got the luck for the shaman mask. Crap, I'm seeing big hits. Big hits! That was the end! Minus one. I would play another right now. I'm gonna do it as a separate video just because this uh, this video is already screwed up for the first 15 minutes. I'm gonna have to do commentary over it. I'm going to figure that out. We'll see what I ended up doing. But later today, we will have another run where we get this number to actually go up. For now, that is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching.